Hi everyone. In this video I show how basic HDRI Maker add-ons new lighting system works. Lamps are automatically placed around a circle, and are linked to it. This allows you to move the circle. You can also use the lamp's properties to move the lamp holder. A target object is also created which is also invisible once the project is rendered. This means that the lights always point to that target, in whatever position it is. Even if you move the set of lamps, all the lights will remain focused on the target object. To change the power of all the lights in one go, just click on the first, or last, property and drag the mouse over all the others, then enter manually, or drag, left or right the mouse. The button next to the target properties is to link the target to any object selected in the scene. This is useful to make the target move with the object indicated in order to keep the lights pointed at the object you want to illuminate when it moves. Light count changes the number of lights connected to the set of lights. The add-on will divide the circle evenly. If you increase the number of lights, these new ones will have the same properties as the last one at the bottom of the list. The Color Lab button, open a Color Lab panel in order to get a colors palette. The color chosen, will be applied to all the lights. Color Lab is a tool present in HDRI Maker, it allows you to search and apply colors quickly and easily. It contains many palettes, including the codes of light sources, translated from degrees Kelvin to RGB. Random Color button, allows you to randomize the color of the lights. To return to a single color, simply return to Color Lab. The Size Columns, allows you to change the size of each light individually. Light Type, allows you to choose between three types of lights, Enum into Next Property, Square, Disk, Rectangle, Ellipse. The button next to the target properties, is to link the target to any object selected in the scene, this is useful. To make the target move with the object indicated, in order to keep the lights pointed, at the object you want to illuminate when it moves. The spotlights type, project a cone of light in one direction only. The light cone angle can be adjusted. To hide the light object, you can go to Blender's Overlay Panel, and uncheck the Extras, and Relationship Lines boxes. In addition, the light cone can be made more or less blend. This also allows you to have a clear cut of light. The Light Point simulates a light bulb that illuminates in a perfect 360 degrees. The maximum number of lights is limited to 32. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notifications of new videos.